Hello, welcome to XCOM 20. I am Bob Fabian Zinga, the head of information security at Deutlich. A little bit about myself. You can find me on LinkedIn.com in Bob Fabian Zinga or my personal website, bobfabianzinga.com or on the Forbes Technology Council website. Uh, I have uh, 20 plus years uh, experience in IT working in complex environment. And since uh, 2005, I've been working to establish, lead, and manage cybersecurity program within IO education, state and federal government, Department of Defense, and uh, since 2014, uh, tech industry here in Silicon Valley. So welcome back to uh, XCOM 20, and I'm talking about endpoint security best practices. So why is this important? Why am I speaking about endpoint security and why are you listening to me now? Well, the bottom line is endpoint security is extremely important because endpoint devices provide an entry point for threats into your organization, your network. I am currently working on an article for Forbes.com uh, about three ways security and IT can facilitate business resiliency in the midst of a global pandemic. And one of the points I highlight is the use of centrally, uh, of MDM to centrally uh, manage uh, endpoint device on an organization network. And uh, this is critically important, you know, do your research, use the best MDM solution out there. So you are here at uh, XCOM 20. So uh, hopefully you are going to spend some time and uh, at least uh, uh, look at uh, XNode uh, MDM solution as well. So a modern MDM solution uh, should uh, definitely ensure that all endpoints uh, in a network are using a modern operating system. So this is critically important because uh, as an example, uh, Apple, uh, since uh, OS 10, right? We had 10.0, um, 10.1, 10.3, and recently Apple released Mac OS 11, Big Sur. So there are several versions of this uh, wonderful operating system. Why is it important for you to know? Well, uh, last month, you know, uh, November 12th, Apple released a patch for Safari 14.0.1. And notice that the security patch Apple released was only for Mac OS Catalina and Mojave, that's it, right? Catalina and Mojave. Uh, this patch was not for ICR, it was not for Sierra, it definitely wasn't for Al Capitan, right? So that is why it is very important for you to know which uh, operating system are running on your network and ensure that all of your devices are running the latest or the most secure version of the operating system. Uh, another thing with Technologies, uh, usually uh, with time, the business value of the technology decreases while the uh, risk right, uh, increases significantly. Uh, as an example, with, uh, if you're using an older version of, uh, let's say, Mac OS 10.0, uh, and Apple is no longer releasing security patches for that operating system, uh, you are really uh, putting yourself at risk. right? So the best practice is for you to really recycle obsolete hardware. If your hardware cannot run the last uh, free version of the operating system that Apple is still supporting today, uh, you really should recycle it. Right? And when you do, make sure you permanently and delete any data in the hard drive. Uh, very, very important. So again, if you are using any prior version of the uh, Mac uh, OS operating system prior to Mojave, you really should think about recycling those devices if you cannot upgrade them. And uh, when you do recycle hardware, just make sure to, again, permanently uh, delete the uh, data in the hard drive. Uh, in the past, uh, some uh, hard drive have been sold on eBay containing very, very sensitive government data. So that shouldn't be you or your organization. Another thing a modern uh, MDM uh, platform should ensure is uh, FD, right? Full drive encryption, full, full disk en encryption, ensuring that the hard drive of each one of your devices are fully encrypted. That's very, very important because if your device is lost or stolen, you could just send a signal to the device to remote wipe everything on the hard drive, which is great. And also you may not have uh, to do a breach notification if personal data uh, was compromised, right? Uh, in the past, when uh, personal data of uh, some of your client or employees uh, has been breached, 
uh, you usually have to notify them and many times you also have to spend money uh, to provide some type of uh, credit monitoring uh, service. But if the drive was fully encrypted and you wiped it, then uh, nobody is gonna get access to that data. So basically the device turns into a paperweight, right? So uh, many of the uh, uh, modern uh, MDM solution would also uh, allow you to enforce a uh, security uh, password standard based on your security policy or passcode for your mobile devices, iPhone, tablet, and smartphones, and sometimes even uh, two-factor authentication. So when it comes to password, you really want to make sure that the uh, password is a long password. And by long password is definitely more than eight characters, right? 12 characters or more is really uh, what's recommended uh, this day. Anything uh, shorter than that is easily crackable. So, and also uh, when you use a password, unfortunately for many, many system, that's really the only control between you and the sensitive data on the platform. So make sure it is a complex password, meaning you must use uppercase character, lowercase character, special characters and number. And also do not use the same password everywhere. Because if you do that, someone can break into your Google account and then be able to log in into your Yahoo account, into your bank and uh, into your uh, work com computer and everywhere else. So you really do not want that. And for passcode, uh, make sure you use uh, eight characters or more. I know for most banks today, the ATM card use uh, four characters only, uh, but that's really not uh, very secure, especially if you're using 111 or 1234. Those are extremely common. So if you are using any of those today, please, please change your PIN, okay? Try to use eight, car eight characters long or, or more, and uh, also try to spell a word. This way your passcode, your PIN will be different on every single system you have to use a PIN or a uh, passcode. Uh, for example, if you want to spell Tom, T is eight, right, right here. And then uh, O is six and N is six also. So it will be eight sixes to spell Tom. So spell a word, eight characters or more and let that be your passcode. Now you also need uh, two factor authentication and uh, Two-factor authentication, so it's something you know, or something you have, or something you are. So as an example, uh, something you know is your password, but once you put in your password, then it asks you for something you have, uh, like your phone. Uh, the system might send a SMS message to your phone, or you might need to use uh, Google Authent Authenticator or one of those uh, apps, which is actually better than uh, SMS which will give you a code that only, usually lasts only about 30 seconds uh, also to ensure that you are the person logging in. And then something you are, is like your fingerprint. Um, many of the uh, smartphones or now with uh, the iPhone, the uh, face uh, scan. Uh, and again, you can enable all of those uh, requirements in your MDM platform. And uh, it's also very important uh, to get uh, the latest uh, uh, security uh, software, even for Macs, right? So that's anti-malware, anti-virus uh, software for all of your devices. Uh, ensure that you have a screen lock, you no know, 10 minutes or less, you know, the shorter, the better. For example, on, on my Mac, uh, I have it set up to five minutes only, and on my iPhone to two minutes or less, uh, but definitely no more than 10, 10 minutes. All right, stay updated. Update all of your uh, application and, and operating system at least once every month, once every 30 days, make uh, sure you update all of your uh, application. And again, using a MDM platform, uh, you can automate all of that and test your patches. And once everything works, again, within 30 days, uh, distribute the and uh, deploy the uh, patches to all of your endpoint uh, devices. Uh, as an example, uh, Configure, right? Configure uh, was discovered November 7, 2008. So mostly affected Windows uh, computers. And in January, 2009, there were more than 12 million computers infected worldwide. Well, guess what? A patch was actually released October 23rd, 2008 before it was discovered. The vendor had released a patch to fix just that. But because we just don't patch our system, even in March, 2012, there were still about you know, 3 million uh, computers still infected when the patch had been released back in 2008. So that means there were at least 3 million computers that haven't been patched from 2008 to 2012. 
right? That's like four years. So that is really not acceptable. Uh, we really, really need to patch our system. Well, you might say, well, I'm using a, a Mac and back in the days, no, we used to say, Max, uh, you don't have to worry about malware or viruses, but that's not really the case anymore, is it? Uh, one great example is Flashback, right? Uh, latest version was discovered April 2012, and Apple released a patch to fix it uh, April 5th, 20, 2012. Well, Oracle had actually released a patch earlier than that, February of 2012. But anyway, the point being, it doesn't matter what your operating system is, uh, make sure you are patching your systems very, very frequently. And, was recommended once a month, okay? 90% of all malware exploits are successful due to a patch not having been applied. Again, the vendor provides the patch, but uh, we just get lazy sometimes and we do not apply them. And a great uh, MDM uh, solution would allow you to test those patches and then apply them across your entire network. Another thing that's important for endpoint security is uh, turning on uh, the firewall on the uh, local device. One more thing. Try to restrict admin access if at all possible, right? Best practice is to have everyone in the organization only run their computer uh, using limited uh, account standard access. And uh, for the few people who need to have admin access, they will need to then log in as an administrator in order to do uh, administrative tasks and then go back to using a standard uh, account. That's the way it is in the military, in the US Navy. Uh, that's not always the case in Silicon Valley. Uh, if you absolutely cannot do that, then uh, limit the number of people who can uh, use uh, admin privileges in your organization. Uh, I've worked for some companies in Silicon Valley that only allow uh, the members of the engineering department uh, to run with admin privileges and everybody else is used a uh, standard account. That's better than uh, nothing, but think about it. So as a user, you also have to be aware of your environment, right? Uh, because when we talk about endpoint security, it's about the risk. And uh, you need to be aware of what you are connecting to. With uh, IoT now, right, Internet of Things, uh, you can use your phone to control the lighting in your house, the uh, thermostat, change the temperature, open and close the uh, garage door uh, of your garage, and uh, you can turn on your smart uh, TV. So you are always connected. And of course, the more things you connect to, uh, the more you increase your uh, cyber uh, sec security exposure. So just be aware of uh, what is going on uh, around you. And if you don't need something, uh, you need to uh, turn it off, do not uh, use it. Uh, you also need to consider uh, freezing your credit, right? And monitoring your credit regularly, like once a month. Well, what does that have to do with endpoint security? Well, the truth is, the only sure way of you never being at your data, never, never being breached, if you want to be 100% sure, is to take your computer, your mobile device, and uh, you know, bury it in the sand and never, never use it. The moment you turn it on, definitely the moment you connect to the internet, you definitely have a risk of the data eventually being breached. So freezing your uh, credit is great because if a hacker is able to steal your identity, your personal information, at least they won't be able to open a new uh, mortgage account or credit card uh, account using your social security number because your uh, credit will be uh, frozen, right? So something to think about. Avoid a malicious site. And again, endpoint security has also a lot to do with uh, user awareness, right? Uh, we talk about uh, technology, which is great. We talk about processes and policies, but there are also people, right? And Every time I uh, provide a presentation, I always have the idea of uh, educating uh, the audience about being more aware about cybersecurity in uh, general. So try to avoid any uh, malicious site. And uh, in many of the MDM um, platform out there, you could also uh, whitelist certain site and uh, don't uh, uh, allow porn or peer-to-peer traffic uh, because not only copyright infringement, but uh, a lot of the site really carry a lot of uh, malware, right? And uh, at home, you could think about something like Family Shield, uh, which will block adult site, proxy, anonymizer, and phishing site, and malware site for you automatically uh, once you uh, set it up. But again, at, at, at work, you probably already have uh, some type of uh, uh, white uh, listing uh, 
technology in, in place to prevent those. And uh, when you log into a site, uh, especially if you have to put in your username, your password, or if you have to access sensitive information, uh, make sure you are using HTTPS, right? Make sure SSL certificate are on and working. Uh, for example, I remember in 2010, 2011, uh, Facebook had HTTPS optional. Most people logged in on their Facebook account just using HTTP www.facebook.com. And many, many, many uh, accounts uh, were compromised back then. I believe it was in 2012 where it became mandatory. You cannot log into Facebook uh, just using HTTP any, any longer. So when you log into your bank uh, account, social media, wherever you have to put in a username and password, just ensure that you are using HTTPS and that the uh, SSL certificate is valid. Another thing to think about is uh, using VPN. VPN is great because it encrypts all of your internet traffic from end to end, right? This way, even if uh, an hacker is able to intercept your traffic, it's all gonna be scrambled, right? So any man in the middle attack would not be uh, successful. All right, uh, always be diligent, be skeptical. No, something is too good to be true. It uh, probably is, no, be careful. Filling out survey online and in social uh, media, some no brainer uh, up there. So uh, back up your data, very, very important to back up your data. And I definitely recommend backing up uh, all data to a secure cloud. For example, directly, uh, all of our users back up their data on Google uh, securely. This is very important because uh, if anything happen uh, to the data on your computer, and uh, if your hard drive you know, uh, stop work, working or whatever, uh, you will still have access to all of your data on the cloud once you get the new computer or the uh, hard drive has been replaced on your co computer. And also, uh, if uh, you have ransomware or anything like that and they're asking you for money to decrypt the data on your hard drive, well, you can just uh, uh, reinstall the operating system and then access your backed up data uh, on the cloud. So very important to do. Another thing that is uh, important with endpoint security is to frequently reboot your computer, right? At least once a week. Uh, the thing is, uh, if your system administrator are sending security patches to your system uh, using the MDM platform, uh, many, many times security patches won't take effect until after you reboot the computer. So it's a very, very good idea to reboot the computer for that reason. But also um, by rebooting your computer, your computer just works a lot um, better, faster because it, it clears the uh, memory cache. So be diligent with uh, apps. Again, most MDM today uh, would uh, allow you to only allow uh, signed software or approved software to, uh, to run on your uh, computer. Uh, be diligent about that. Some final thoughts. Use licensed software. Right? Do not just install any software you find on the uh, internet. Again, white listing software uh, is very important for uh, endpoint security. Use a uh, very strong password. We already talked about that. So let's watch uh, one final uh, video about security in general. So 
the uh, bottom line is security is everybody's business. Uh, endpoint security is very, very important. And there are really great uh, MDM platforms out there that would allow an organization to apply this uh, security uh, setting uh, across all devices and uh, manage them. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be here. And uh, I really appreciate it. So.